Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. I hope you're having a great day today. I've been asked um, a couple times to redo um, the video where I make my wigs uh, shorter um, from the front to the back because um, they always, um, even though they're average size, they, my measurement is 13 inches from the front to the back and I always feel there's always like a big air bubble back here that I have to uh, make adjustments to. Uh, so I'm going to show you this uh, quick easy way that um, and reversible way if you don't like it or if you feel like you took it in too much um, it'll be um, easy for you to undo it and try it again. Here's the wig we're going to be working on. Um, here is the back of the wig and we're going to be taking it in right below the permatees here and I'm going to be um, gathering the wefts here and usually you need to leave at least a finger space um, between your scalp and the wig and I find that usually um, with wigs that I, I can easily fit two or three fingers um, in the back of my head so today I'm going to um, take it in um, four wefts at a time and so I, I usually use the tag as my center and so probably do like four in these three and then um, like three wefts on the um, the outside of those wefts just to, to kind of taper it a little bit so I got my thread and needle ready here so there's the middle and and here's my permatees. So just going to be gathering. If you can see the wefts there, there's the first one, second, and the third, and the fourth. I've got those all gathered up. I've got a knot at the end of my thread here. And okay, so I'm going to need to make um, another pass just to make sure that that is secure. Go through all the wefts again. And I told you I was going to take three on this side, but I took four. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so the proper way would be to like tie this off and start over. But um, in the interest of time and ease, I just go to the next one and again gather up four wefts. And I leave enough uh, loose thread in the middle of the, the two just to have some movement there. And again, another pass to secure it. And go on to the next one. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, I'm just gonna see where I'm at. So I'm right above the uh, tag. So I'm gonna continue with uh, gathering the four wefts on the next one. And this is a very curly wig, so I don't feel any bumps, and it's not noticeable on the outside once you put it on. I'm 
Okay, this will be the last one with the four. One, two, three, and one more. Okay, and then this one we're only going to do three. One, two, three. This will make it, you know, fit better on your scalp and be more comfortable. Less itchy, less moving around equals less itchiness. So anything you can do to reduce that. So I'm just going to tie this off. And that's it. Um, they also recommend that you use, you know, like the same colored thread as your, um, the base of your wig or the color of the hair. So I should have used like a brown um, thread for this, um, but in the interest of, so you could see better. And honestly, if you have um, a wig that has uh, good density, you're not going to notice this, not going to notice it at all, any threads showing through. So that's it. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. And I'm not sure if I mentioned what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing uh, Breezy Waves by uh, Rene of Paris. And I believe it's in a creamy toffee color. And I, I have added some rooting to this. And I'm not sure why I don't wear it more often. I think because um, it looks a little nesty on the top. I think I just need to work with it some more. But um, I think I'm going to start wearing it again. <laughs> If you like this video, please um, press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Thank you for watching.